What's going on guys, Manic Badger here, and welcome to something a little bit different. Now, while this is going on in the background, I just basically wanted to do a little bit of an update video to keep you guys posted as to why I haven't been uploading in the last two weeks, and yeah, just what's going on really. So, there's no excuses that I can make, but the, the main reason for not uploading has been I've had some real bad uh, troubles to try and get a... Well, yeah, just just to get some footage sorted, it's been really difficult to get um, my game capture working as well as the uh, uh, my, my PC is just not being you know performing like like it should do, and uh, it's caused some real trouble. And it's been really frustrating because I've lost about three episodes worth of content um, on the bounce, and I really don't know what to do. So. I think this episode's gonna work. Um, the content looks fine. Everything looks good. So we're just gonna have to carry on recording at 30 frames per second, and then eventually, when I get the uh, chance, I'll up it to 60 frames per second, and it'll look a lot cleaner. I hope. So hopefully, that my uh, PC will be a little bit better. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the Leicester City career mode because obviously that's the main thing on my channel, and um, explain a little bit what happened because I've got to update you guys as to what was happening. I don't want to just start the new season. Um, and, and you guys not knowing what happened rather than just say unfortunately I've just got to tell you guys what happened rather than showing you any footage because obviously there is none but um, we are now in the new season we're just waiting to kick off the first game and that's going to be the start of season 4 in uh, our Leicester City career mode and that's what we're going to take on forward but more importantly um, the end of last season was really, it, it, it pisses me off so much because it was actually a really good finale to the season. We were in the FA Cup final, we were going to play Chelsea, we were in the Europa League final, we were going to play Inter Milan and we were um, leading the BPL. Chelsea were chasing us behind and the last game of the season was at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea and it looked like it was going to be basically a BPL final. So, this is how it went down. FA Cup came, we uh, held on. Scored a goal on the counter-attack. Vieto put us 1-0 ahead and it stayed 1-0. That is all that you need to know. There was nothing else apart from Chelsea taking chance after chance. Hazard came on. Cavani came on. They they really tried to score the goal. Uh, Remy Cabela had the best chance, I believe. <clears throat> anyway, second game. We played against Europa League. Um, in the Europa League final, we played against Inter Milan. And there... Centre back Benucci had an absolute. I think it's Benucci. I think so. Anyway, one of their centre backs, not Bazagli, not uh, Giolini, not Ogbonna, the other one. He had an absolute storm. He just cut out everything, and uh, they managed to score from a set piece, which was really disappointing. They scored from a corner, and that's how it stayed. We weren't able to get back. We nearly scored. I think we hit the bar like in the last five minutes of the game. Really frustrating, thought we played well enough, and we didn't get anything from the game. So, yeah, that's how that one ended. So, one out of two cups ain't bad. And then we went on to the BPL final, and we hammered Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. I think it was 3-0, or 3-1. But uh, they just couldn't live with us, so I didn't know what really to do. Um, I, I just couldn't believe that we were playing so well, and, and, and Bakayoko and Vieto. I think Bakayoko just missed out on the 30 goal mark. Vieto did get it though, he got exactly 30 goals. And um, yeah, that's how the season finished. Uh, we won the Premier League, we won the FA Cup, which was really good. Really excited about that, that's what we wanted to achieve. We obviously qualified for the Champions League, so that's what we're going to try and push on. And we've got our free agent players. We've got Fernando, who looks great. We've got um, Todd Kane at the right back. He looks great. And we've also got uh, Bellarabi on the right mid. And we've made a few transfers. I'll update you guys on them in the next episode. And uh, we'll start out. Oh, we've got a huge game against Manchester City on the opener of the BPL for this season. Um, the curtain raiser, the official one, the Community Shield, we played that against Chelsea and we beat them 1-0, which was really good. Uh, Fernando making his debut and we've brought in some really exciting players, so I can't wait to show you guys them. But yeah, that's basically what this episode's about. Um, a really short one. I mean, for me, five minutes is quite short, but hopefully that explains a little bit about what, uh, what's been happening and, and hopefully it's, it's been alright for you guys to um, just have a little bit of a chill and listen to um, listen to the updates and watch a little bit of the skill games. I don't know if I'm doing alright or not, but uh, yeah, it's been quite fun. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys want to leave some comments in the section below, I mean, I'm still looking for transfer target ideas. Uh, oh, that was also worthwhile mentioning. In terms of our budget, I was really pissed off because we only got 20 million despite winning the Champions... Uh, well, they're not the Champions League, the, the Premier League. Despite winning it, we only get 20 million pounds. That's absolute, you know, that's not good enough. And as you can see on the screen now, we've got the 1-0 victory against Chelsea and the Community Shield. And yeah, that's where we are really. And uh, I mean, I can, I can do nothing but apologise. I tried everything over the last two weeks to try and get something sorted, but it just wasn't happening. So um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that here, guys. I'm going to leave a link on your screen now for the previous episode so you can catch up and see where we were and we were also talking about transfer talk so if you guys haven't caught that episode then uh, have a look and yeah hopefully we'll get something on for this weekend and if we do i'll see you guys then uh yeah until then peace